Hey guys, I have this DIY sandal hangers tutorial. If you would like to see how it's done, then just keep watching. Talk about flesh like it's something you wear. Talk about cash, baby, I don't care. Oh boy, what I'm about. First, take your cutting pliers and cut one end of the wire hanger. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hard for me. It was, um, yeah, you can see I'm struggling. And then do the same thing to the other side so that um, they're both flat. It should look like this. And then take your needle nose pliers and grip the very end of one side and just um, make a quick uh, twist so we have this little loop looking thing. And just do the same thing to the other side. Your hair should look something like this and next take your noodle nose plier again and grip that kind of like cricket part already and just kind of bend it down a little bit more about maybe 45 degrees and then you want to grip the center of the wire and bend that up you want to make like a kind of like a U shape uh, that's where you'll be hanging your sandal And then you just want to do the same thing to the other side of your hanger. Ta-da! This is what it should look like. Um, you can make as many as you'd like. I made a couple for all my sandals. And this is what it looks like with your sandal hanging on it. And if you would like to learn how to do this uh, cute little design for it, then um, just keep watching. Cut a small strip about one inch and you want to center that on your hand at the top. Um, take one side and fold that up about 45 degrees so it has a, kind of like a sharp corner. It should look something like this. And then you want to bend that uh, strip down and just straighten it out. It should look something like that. And then you just want to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, it should look something like this. And you just want to take those flaps and fold them behind um, the paper or the hanger. This is what it should look like in the back. And next, you just want to take your scissors and cut off the excess um, paper. And then take your tape and just tape it so the paper is secure. No, you've got to figure 